Hi, welcome to our masterclass. In this video, we're gonna explain the hand watering system when you grow on a wet substrate, which you do normally with a terra substrate or a cocoa substrate. I'm Peter, grow consultant of Kana. Watering the plants is the most difficult action a grower should take. Each minute, a plant is taking water, drip by drip. And at the same time, he is taking the nutrients gram by gram. In theory, we have to repair the substrate immediately when the plant is taking something from the substrate. Unfortunately, that is not always possible. It depends on the substrate you are growing in. Watering on wet substrates like terra and cocoa, they become heavy after watering. That means they decompress their own substrate and the substrate will be lacking of oxygen. That means the plant cannot absorb water anymore or nutrients. So on these substrates we recommend you grow on a lower moist content level, around 30-40% depending on the substrate itself. And that means you always grow in a substrate which has 60-70% air content. So the roots can always breathe. I like to give you an example for a 10 liter pot. Of course, the first time you water the substrate you always have to give the maximum amount so the whole pot is wet. For a terra mixture, it means a 10 liter pot will go to 70%, so becomes 7 kilo. After you start growing, you wait till you come back to the 30%. For a 10 liter pot, it means the weight goes back to 3 kilos. And from now on, we start to water the plant. But how much water can I give to these pots? The maximum amount is 10% of the pot volume. That means of a 10 liter pot, it's 1 liter max. That doesn't mean you have to give it. For example, we give 600 milliliters. That means 3.0 kilo becomes 3.6 kilo. After two days, you want to water again. You lift the pot. You weigh it and it is still 3.1 kilo. Then you should not give 600 milliliters, but you only give 500 milliliters to get back to the same weight after watering. You always stay between 30 and 40 percent of the pot volume's weight. This water strategy is quite safe. On terra you water two times, three times a week and on cocoa substrate you can water max one time a day. It's a safe watering strategy. Plants will never suffer of oxygen. Nevertheless, if you have this water strategy in your fingers, the grower can improve by looking at the plant and steering with that low moist content. Because each week sometimes need a just a little different number for it. Hopefully this water strategy will bring what you need. If you have another substrate, it's sometimes better to grow in a hydroponic way. Please have a look to that video.